Hello everyone, it's uh, night time actually, 11.53, September 8th, 2021 and uh, the market is completely dog shit. My, well, it looks beautiful on uptrend, right? But uh, it's acting really suspicious, you know. Got a fun buy, fun seller set to 5 day moving average. Open weaker, bounce up a little bit and act really weak and then bounce back a little bit. Seems like a really construction constructive move to the downside to me. You know, even you can short market below that low. Same thing with the Qs, right? If you look at any of the uh, every single index, the uh, IWM today came back down, test the 20 day moving average. The 15 minute isn't that, you know, it's not like good or anything. It's not like you recover from there. It looks more like it's about to undercut that or even go lower, right? The uh, same thing with not well the health healthcare sector is actually a bit more healthier, but if you look at it on the fifteen minute chart, it's not that good, you know, and that goes to the same with literally every single sector, right? The IBB is not that good. The uh, semiconductor is going down. By the way, these are all daily charts. The uh, financials are doing bad. So what do you do in this market? You either go cash gain or you start shorting. And you know, I'll be presenting some couple short candidates. Number one, ATV Activision. Matter of fact, the only one that's holding strong. But the thing is that they only get half of yesterday's volume, right? If you look at it on the 15 minute chart, obviously, if we go all the way down here and short it below that low, it'll be a little bit more to extend it. I like prefer to see this thing tomorrow morning, first thing, start maybe going down a little bit to here. And then we have a little shakeout or like not shakeout, sorry, like a pullback in it as it gets below. It might be a little bit a day or two too early. Uh, if this thing keeps on going up, then you know we're just gonna violate. We just we're just gonna cancel this trade. That's it. But uh, see how it gets below this low, and uh, find a chance to short it. ATVI. Uh, it's this thing has been the thing with this personality of the stock is that when it bounces, it bounces pretty, you know. After a red day, usually it gives a bounce, and uh, I don't think we can. I don't think this stock has any more, basically energy to punt, bounce anywhere higher. Obviously, the seller wanted to come in, as you can see what happened yesterday, right? And uh, and it happened a really big volume too, so I do like this one. Keep you on the watch. Uh, some other ones that I think it's shortable tomorrow. CHPT, right? Huge volume on the day that uh, it gapped up and turned red. Meaning that a lot of people still want to sell, you know, sell short on the stock, basically. And uh, you can see that we got below the five-day moving average. And tomorrow, as the market opens, we're going to start getting rid of this data for the five-day moving average. So we'll start from here, you know. And once that happens, the five-day moving average will start declining rapidly, actually, and put the stock on a short-term, super short-term downtrend. And it's already on a downtrend on these uh, intermediate term moving averages. So I like to short this one tomorrow morning below this low right here. Uh, that's 21.36. And you can put your, you know, you find your stop maybe right here, you know, really up to you. Another one I like to short is a uh, CREE -E Creed. I think I've talked about this one on this YouTube channel before. I'm not sure, but I, I think I have. Uh, last time I'm not. Anyways, same thing basically below all the moving average are, are on the downtrend except the 200 day moving average, which I don't really look at too much anyways. But uh, today it basically came back down with the market and uh, also had a little pullback. You can simply buy this below this low. You can probably find a lot of stocks like this right now. I'm just presenting you like these three and the reason why they're like presenting so well is because how the market moved today. Um, I'll say that one more time, but like basically the way how a spy moves, usually the market sells off quickly, right? And then we just, you know, recover up. Um, if I can see, like for example, right here, right? The market had a, had a little sell off. And then, you know, bounced back a little bit on the same day and went back down close lower. Then we just recover breaking the, this high and head onto all-time high. Same thing right here. 
it went went all the way down being you know overextended bounce up a little bit go down a little bit and then just breaks that high again you know but this time how the market work is that we broke down on the five day moving average we bounce up and then we had even lower right now you might you might think it's similar to this day but no it this happened in one day right this also happened in one day this is why all these moves are really extended if you know what i mean but this move on the downside is really really constructive you know constructive way of uh, how a stock move basically so except for the trouble in this market um you can see like if you guys are have been following my trades in uh, on my twitter or even my discord right we know that pretty much every single stock we had evolved you know we had a good run especially the last two weeks right and now everything got kicked out just on this one move or like these two moves and uh stocks got kicked don't just look at the index and be like wow the index is up so high you know I'm not making, you know, my my positions, I, I, I'm not going to take the loss or I'm not going to take the stop loss on my position because we're just going to head higher. That's not always the case. Sometimes this might, like, it happened before last year's March. You see that move? Because it happened once already like that. Doesn't matter, doesn't mean that it wouldn't happen again, you know? Oh, it's possible that it's just a little pullback like that, but still, I want to avoid trouble. And uh, I think many of my stocks have given us warning that um uh, i'm just gonna give a couple of examples actually from my um from my list you want to pay attention to these earnings i mean not these earnings these uh movements on stocks md we never really traded it but uh you see how it's completely failing from this base right you want and it's it's failing harder than the market actually you want to look at individual stocks and see how they play out. Plan. Oh, this is a recent one. Let me find something uh, that I've been involved. LAC, I've been in this stock for a while. Um, you know, I got in right here and it made a big move. And now we got kicked, right? Yesterday, the spot went down. The stock kind of came down, kind of went flat, didn't really go anywhere. And today we just got kicked, you know. And uh, the, the stock didn't recover as much as the market, which I think is a warning telling me that, hey, you know, get out of me, get out of the stock right now. Maybe I'll head higher to test all time high later, but uh, not now, you know. And another one is CVS is failing again. CVS, I had a stock for trade. I think I even posted on YouTube above this high, right? But uh, no, it kind of just fell, never triggered, and it never triggered, so it gave me, kind of warned me, like, you know, it's like, okay, stock doesn't want me to get involved in them, which might mean something. Same thing with Pfizer, too, you know? Um, what else? Lithium as well. You want to look at individual stocks and not just the index. These stocks are not, they're not going nowhere, anywhere, but the spies and and the index, if you just look at them on the daily chart, it looks like they're getting ready for another all-time high. If you look at the just the candle that I put in on QQQ, it's more bullish than anything, right? Same thing with the SPY, actually. Uh, where is it? It's still, it's a green candle. I mean, I mean, neutral, green, red, whatever, but like, it's not that bullish. But if you look at it on the lower time frame, you see construction constructive move to the downside, right? Lower highs and uh, lower lows. So be careful. Be very careful. And uh, I think that's it. That, that'll do it for this video. Follow me on uh, twitter.com slash forte charts. I'll be posting this kind of stuff. And yep. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, my bad guys. This video is about to be 10 minutes. Let's uh, hit that 10 minute mark. And uh, why are we hitting the 10 minute mark? Because I heard if we hit, if we let the video go to 10 minutes, it attracts more views. And do I want more views? Yes, I do. That's why I make videos, for views. I'll be honest with you guys, for views. It's not, uh, what is it? Want to obviously share these ideas with you guys, because uh, why not? Most of you guys that watch this video are around my age. I don't want, I don't want rich people to only be the boomers, right? 
young people need to rise up. And the uh, second reason is because of uh, you know having getting views or getting numbers, seeing numbers just makes me want to do more stuff. All right, uh, thank you guys. Uh, by the way, I don't make money from YouTube anyway. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.